has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 35. Working from the gun, Lance. That ball caught, Brandon Ayuk. Now San Francisco gonna call their second timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Here's Lance. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. And after the sack, Lance and the Niners staring up here the third and long. Now Lance. Oh, Lance has it knocked free. The ball is loose. Second time in this game, Charles. The ball is squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the luck. And he is into the end zone for the touchdown. So they still need a miracle with the clock where it's at, but they get one piece to the puzzle done. Still have hope. Gold to add the extra point. He's got it, and they're back within a touchdown at 28-21. So with just a second to play, we'd have to see something crazy here for them to have a chance. And this is going to be recovered by the hands team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. and then they were hoping for the miracle there on the onside kick. Couldn't get it recovered, and that was your ball game. And I'm of the opinion that any time you actually do recover an onside kick, it almost is a miracle. It takes so many things going right to make it happen. It did in this case, and they walk off a victor. Like a man. 
tangled, fingertip like I'm Thanos, knocking those down no bangles without a tango, tailor made. The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Los Angeles Chargers and the San Francisco 49ers. It's north versus south in the state of California. We're underway between the Niners and Chargers. This taken in at the goal line. And this will not be a good return. He's out of bounds at the 12. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. Room here to run. Touchdown, 49ers. Christian McCaffrey, 88 yards. And the Niners get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and it's now a 7 0 game. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Pulls it in at the 13. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. going to lead up the Chargers here first and 10 at their own 22. Williams the man in motion left. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And a nice job to break free of one tackle but it slowed his momentum somewhat and he's taken down right after. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he's able to take this one up to the 35 yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. His throw incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Here's second and ten now from the 35. Play action. It's Herbert. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 45-yard line. First down now. Forced out to his left. And his throw here is incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try a mount a stand before they're backed up even further.
So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Herbert. And he comes back with one complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 20-yard line. Herbert operating from the red zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Austin Eckler, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Chargers are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Hopkins with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Let's go. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. It really doesn't get much easier than the last drive. One play, and they took it all the way to the house on the touchdown run. And you know how many times we talked about that's exactly how they drew it up because essentially every play that's drawn up in an offensive playbook, if everyone does their job perfectly, should go for a touchdown, right? That's one that actually did. Give a little credit to those big fellows up front, too. They sprang their man for not only a big gain, but six points. The excellent play last time is followed by a much more routine gain of three. Second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Lance looking to throw it. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayu. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Now former six-round pick, it's Elijah Mitchell. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. These two teams all tied after one. Ready, ready. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Yellow. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Ready. On play action, Lance steps away. Touchdown, 49ers! George Kittle with a touchdown grab for Trey Lance. And the 49ers have moved out in front. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Gold with the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Pulls it in at the 13. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. 
Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked by Tervarius Moore. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. But Charles, you can just see the frustration on the sideline. Safe to say that's not how they expected this series to go. The ball only went one way, and it was backward into their own end zone, courtesy of the pick six. And Brandon, how often do we hear offenses tell us before a game they want to end every series with a kick, right? A punt, a PAT, or a field goal. In case of a defense, they wanted to end with a punt or a takeaway. And we saw the takeaway right there, and it turned out to be a takeaway that turned into six points. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. Fresh off of six the other way, it's Herbert. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Herbert's throw going into the hands of Williams. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 18 more yards there and another first down. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. On first and 10, Herbert. Throwing right, and that's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Jalen Guyton from 17 yards out. And the Chargers have got it back to within a score. Extra point good by Hopkins. And they're back with it. A touchdown at 21-14. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Here's Mitchell now to kick off the drive. And some room to work. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, 49ers. Elijah Mitchell. 79 yards. And the Niners are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the lead now up to 14. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. line. 
The Charger drive about to get going. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo, and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Herbert off of play action. Rolling to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And a throw right sideline is complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 41-yard line. Herbert over the middle, and it's incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. Actually gives them a chance to regroup. Relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. Out to his left. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 22-yard line. Running on first down, Eckler. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. On second and 12, Herbert. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the 49ers are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. To throw, it's Lance. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. going to try and throw on third down here. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down, and then some. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Play action, now it's Lance on the move to his left. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Striker, three, three. From the 25 on second down, Lance. 
And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Danny Gray in the final seconds of the first half. And the 49ers will extend their lead here just before halftime. Gold with the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. A fairly short kick from the 14. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Chargers going to get the football first here in the second half, and they trail as we get back underway. A fairly short kick from the 14. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The Charger drive about to get going. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. On second and inches, Herbert. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. So now third and 10, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Here's Herbert being chased out left. They finds his target, Allen. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 14. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And they'll send Williams in motion right. And they snap it to Herbert. It's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked by Tarverius Moore. And the Niners are going to take possession. Okay, I feel unstoppable. 